So implausible. <laughs> you know, the, there's that. You know, how do you, how do you test something like that? That that would just take a long period of observation. And then, but before you go to jump to a conclusion like that, is it plausible that the vaccine would cause infertility? And it's really, I don't know if you've heard how this came about. Uh, someone somewhere thought that some pieces of the, of the virus might look a little bit like some of the proteins that are on the placenta. And based on that kind of, I don't even call it an observation, this myth came about. Um, but there's no, there's no reason to believe that that would be the case for a vaccine, that it would cause infertility. Secondly, if you're concerned about um, proteins from the virus looking too much like the placenta, you know what would be a problem? Actual COVID infection. So in, so in any case, it's not, a, it's not a plausible concern. It is not safe for pregnant women to get the vaccine because babies cannot currently get the vaccine. I would, I would give that a, a false, uh, you know, I, can I say busted? I mean, this is, um, there are, we have not done big trials of pregnant women to actually show safety in that population. Uh, to date, women that happen to be pregnant at the time they got vaccination haven't had any safety concerns. People who had COVID-19, whether they knew it or not, experienced symptoms after getting the vaccine. Um, not necessarily true. I, again, possibly kernel of truth kind of thing. Uh, I think people who've had covid that uh, infection when they get the vet that when they get that first shot of the vaccine it can almost appear like a boost you know it's like normal people usually have people who have never been infected with covid are more likely to have symptoms big sore arm maybe a low grade fever they're more likely to get it after the second vaccine and people with prior covid infection that first vaccination can probably feel like the second shot in somebody who's never been infected um but We've had plenty of people who had COVID and got the shot, had no side effects. We know many of you want to do your own research. We are putting together a big article for you right now on WATE.com. It's going to have links to research findings and resources for you and many, many more myths and the answers to them. You can look over the most common myths, find the answers there tonight. We're working on this story for you right now. You're going to just click on the story. It'll be published shortly. I know you've been working hard on that summer. We look forward to that.